Hello everyone, today we're going to be looking at how to make a security camera system for your Roblox game. So first of all we're going to want to insert our cameras and to do that I'm going to put everything inside of a folder under the workspace and I'm going to call that folder CCTV. Inside of that folder I'm going to insert a part and then I'm going to point the part, put this on one stud block and point it like that so it looks more like it's pointing in one direction. I'm going to rename this to C1 so we know that this is camera 1. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this five times. So now we have five cameras and I'm going to change all the names to these to, to C2 C3, C4, and C5. So now we have our five cameras. So the next thing to do is to make our GUI. So if we go to start a GUI and insert a screen GUI and call that call it security cameras and inside of there we go first off we're going to need a bool value and we're going to call this close I'll explain what this is for later on we're going to need a local script we'll just close that for now we're going to need a text button and we'll start working on this so the very first thing to do is to go down here and we'll set offset to zero scale, um, offset zero on both X and Y under size, make sure you're not under position. And then we'll set this both to 0.5, so then we know we're definitely scaling it. And then I'm going to put this button right here in the corner, just like this. Obviously, you can make your GIs better. We'll just say next. Obviously you can make your GUIs better, but I'm just going to use the default one for now. And I'm going to rename this to next. Okay then. So I'm going to add, also going to add a text label. And then inside of this text label, I'm going to call this camera. And then this right here is going to tell us what camera we currently have visible. So I'm going to set this to camera one, scale it, and also set the size so it's set to scale there we go I am also gonna add one more text label I'm not gonna call this on camera I'm just gonna call it text label and then we'll call it we'll type in text press space to exit and that'll come more apparent obviously feel free to make these GUIs look a lot better I'm just doing them quick and easy for this tutorial but for your game feel free to make them different right okay there we go so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna insert we'll just disable this for now and we're gonna insert a seat into the workspace inside of the seat we're gonna insert a script okay and then inside of this script first thing we're gonna say is script dot parent dot childs added a connect function and then in the parenthesis we need to say child and what this is saying is whenever a child of seat is added in this case we're looking for a child called seat world so we'll check to see if the child if the child added's name is equal to seat world that's wealth is equal to seat world and child colon is a so we're checking that the object is actually um weld object and not a part or whatever and game dot players colon get player from character and then what we're going to do here is we're going to check to make sure that we can actually find 
can actually find our player through this. So we're checking to see if it's a seat weld added, if it actually is a weld, and if we can find our character. If we can do all of that, then we're going to do local PLR equals. So we are telling the script, or we're assigning the to the PLR variable this value here, which is our player path. And then we're going to assign another variable called clone. And then for clone, I'm just going to quickly drag security cameras under script. In the clone, we're going to say script dot dot security cameras colon clone. And we're going to say clone dot parent equals plr dot player gui. And what this is saying is whenever a child is added, it's going to check these three values here, as I explained before. And then it's going to make a clone of the security camera and then it's going to paste it in the player's star GUI. This is just to save it from loading as soon as you load into the game. Okay then. So now we're going to do a child removed event. So we're going to say script.parent.child rem child removed. Colon connect function. In the parenthesis we're going to say child again. Then we're going to say if childs dot name is equal to seat worlds because remember we want to make sure that the it is actually seat worlds and the same as this here we're not going to bother doing the last one because it's not needed then we're going to assign this variable here again then we're going to say plr dot player gui dot security cameras dot what was it called close dot value equals true so what we're saying is we are when a child is removed we're setting this value to true which we can then pick up on the client and then we'll do a wait to basically give the script a couple seconds or less than that a couple milliseconds even to process this request that we're going to handle on the client, which we'll do in a second. And we're going to say plr dot player gui dot security camera colon it's colon destroy, so it's going to destroy this. Okay, if we look in the security camera script here, very first thing we're going to do is we're going to assign our camera value. And the camera, if you look, is here in the workspace. So camera equals game dot work. Oh, that's graphics quality. <laughs> game dot workspace dot camera. We're also going to need a current camera. Equals one. So we're starting on camera number one, and then local number of of. So this value here is going to count how many cameras we have inside of this folder. So to find out how many cameras we have inside of this folder, we're going to do a for loop. So we're going to say for underscore comma v in pairs. And then we're going to say game dot workspace dot cctv colon get children do. Then we're going to say number. Oh, I'll just copy this variable. So number of cameras equals number of cameras plus one. So what this is going to do is for every camera it finds in here, it's going to run this. So it's going to add one to the number of cameras. So the next thing we need to do is because this here is going to get cloned into the player, so it's going to run this straight away. So we can say camera off of this value here, camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot scriptable camera dot c frame dot equals game dot workspace dot cctv um, and then we're going to put in square brackets c it's an x c dot dot two string so we are going to turn an integer value into a string two string the current camera 
So we're turning this value into a string. So it's looking for C and whatever camera we're on. So C1, because this here is concatenating these together. So it, it, will, it won't actually look for this. It's going to look for C1 or C2 or whatever current camera is equal to. Then we're going to say script dot parent dot camera dot text equals camera and then we're doing the the exact same thing as here we're just saying camera dot dot to string current camera so in our little GUI here um, that it's gonna say what number camera we are on okay then remember make sure you re-enable that so next we're going to say script dot parent dot next dot mouse button one click colon connect function so we're saying here when we're in this script so when the next here is clicked we're going to say current camera equals current camera plus one so we are having so we know we are on our next camera that's a minus that's why it's putting red lines underneath then we're going to say camera dot camera type so we're going to well I can just copy this can't I Cause it's the exact same thing here we're just verifying that it is actually on the script to pull camera type and then it is changing the C frame of the camera which is what it is looking at and then we're also going to add that on there and on the end here we're going to say if current camera is equal to number of cams this value here so we're basically saying if the current camera is equal to the number of cams meaning we're at the very last camera then current camera equals zero and the reason I'm setting it to zero is because it will then fire this straight away and it's gonna add one there okay and the very last thing we need to do is say script.parent.close so we're looking back at this bool value for when this is changed so we'll do a dot changed event connect function and we'll say if script.parent.close dot value is equal to true then as we changed it in this service script camera dot camera type equals enum dot camera type dot custom okay so that should be done what I'm gonna do though is I'm just gonna flip the locations of these so in the opposite directions and change the colors so then we know that these are pointing in this direction just so then we can see it alternating and I'm gonna put two different colored parts obviously you don't have to do this this is just here so I can distinguish which side we are looking at there we go okay so I'm gonna come down here in my little seat here and we are gonna play okay now that we're in the game we can walk on the seat and we have an error let's see alright if you look here it is saying it is expecting a C frame but it got an instance and that is because on the end here we forgot to put dot C frame so that is why that error is. Right, let's try again. We should then see the green and then the purple, or the pink. As you can see it alternates and it says up there which camera we are currently on. Now we press space to exit out. So if we want to go back in, we can. Show us all of the cameras and press space to get out. Brilliant. If you want to add more cameras to this system, all you need to do is say uh, if we duplicate this and then drag it all the way over here. So this is camera one. This is this is camera two. This is camera three. See you there. Camera four. Camera five. This is camera six. Camera seven. Camera 8, camera 9, and then we'll add one more so it's a round number. Okay, 
So now if we play it, as you can see, we now have an extra five cameras and you can add as many as you want. So that has been my tutorial on how to make a security camera system. If you have any questions or any suggestions for future videos, feel free to pop them in the comments and I'll see you in the next video.